So seeing that this time actually sent me another keyboard to review. Um, so this is the brand new ISJ model, uh, which I actually have another Cinda computer keyboard that I actually reviewed a while ago. I immediately cannot see a huge difference other than the fact that the gap between the um, insert home page up, down, delete, end is actually being shortened so i would expect it to be smaller device but this keyboard itself is pretty good actually the one that i reviewed before it has a battery life of 1600 uh, milliamp per hour and seven uh, led backlit color as well which i really enjoy when especially when i do my uh, samsung dex uh, function on my samsung galaxy s20 ultra but anyhow uh, this seems to be more compact on my impression first impression so far but it also has this scissor switch ultra thin keyboard function on the side which i think it's gonna probably gonna feel much better but anyhow let's do the direct comparison between two so here it goes Nice package as usual. Wow. Okay. So we got the actual keyboard and the manual. I assume somewhere we're going to have the also the USB-C cable as usual. Wow. Okay. Um, so immediately what I could feel is there's way more weight on it, which I love it. It's immediately a higher quality than the previous uh, seen the uh, keyboard that I had and um, the edge you can see is more sharpened up and the way how it is is it's actually has a stand on the back side there's the um, charging slot and also on and off switch but it's slimmer heavier and the keyboard is actually bigger so let's actually put that against the um, previous Cinda model I have here. It's more simplified, simple shape, minimalist. I mean, this is still very, really, really good, but you can immediately see the quality has actually have upgraded from the previous one. Okay, so let's actually put this side by side. All right, so immediately the height of the keyboard itself is virtually the same height, but on the sideways, you can see that there's more angle and slim edge a sharpened edge for the new model while as the previous model is flat minimalistic and a rounded corner while as this one is like a cut in corner again regards to the size of the keyboard button itself we got a bigger keyboard for the new model and a um, bit more gaps between here so there's definitely improvement here regards to the touch of the keyboard itself it's light a bit more subtle so if you call this a tenor, this would be more like a bass. And I heard that this is actually a scissor um, kind of button function. So it's it's more professional, it's more subtle, calmer feel, while this one is more like lighter feel. Can you hear the difference here? Yeah, definitely this one is more heavier and more settled, more comfortable feel of the touch when you press the button. Again, regards to the edge of the new model, we got this sharp edge with a cut in corner. Um, so it actually feels like when you hold it, much thinner feel, but it is actually thinner because on the um, back side of it, um, that we can see that it is actually that um, thinner and also the thicker part becomes the one that sustains the keyboard. So you get the 12 degree angle of the keyboard itself but when it comes to the comparison of each uh, the brand new and the old model is that you can immediately see it's more like energetic tron kind of feel i would like to use the word tron because that is what reminds me while as the previous model is like a minimalistic round the corner simple design it depends on what which model you prefer but i definitely would go for the brand new uh, design. It's really flashy, very trendy indeed. On the back side of it, you can see that the previous model is pretty much um, flat out with a regular square uh, rubber support on the bottom. While as the brand new model, you can see that there's this more trendier, like a capsule uh, rubber that is actually supporting other than the one in the central. And the way how the 12 degree angle is created is because we got this much thinner um, frontage while as the thicker part which I assume that there's the battery inside it that supports 
um, that's how it's created so it's heavier but also much trendier indeed so this is a massive upgrade so if we were to turn on both keyboards the old model <coughs> well it's actually the old model but if we turn on the new one I would assume it's going to be the same brightness but in fact the new one seems to be bit more dimmed I don't know whether you can see from the camera point of view they're both the same blue but this one seems to be more dimmed settled if you see what I mean I don't I'm not saying that it's bad but I think there's different approach here but if we were to try different colors here so if this is yellow let's try the yellow this time yeah I mean definitely uh, the new model seems to be more dimmed um, clearly defined on the previous model so I guess it's up to your choice but I I don't know I mean probably I prefer the old model but then again I'm sure there's a good reason behind why it's actually dimmed um, comparing to the previous model actually so yeah so that's the blue and the previous blue let's try out other colors shall we so that's the green can we do green I'm sure we did. Uh, so it's like a bluish green. So it's up to you, but I prefer the previous one actually on this case. So as you can see, the brand new Cinder keyboard has been connected to my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra for the purpose of uh, Samsung DeX. And so at the moment, two of the keyboards actually have been simultaneously connected for the uh, purpose. So let's get on with the typing speed and response, shall we? So if we zoom out and zoom into the main screen, so I don't know whether you can see. So I'm gonna try the new keyboard for the typing, okay? So this is just a fast typing to see how well it responds. You can hear the sound. I mean, the keyboard itself is very smooth and the response level is very good. I can hardly experience any delay whatsoever. Now let's try the um, the old keyboard, shall we? So, I mean, both of them are Bluetooth 5.1. So um, I would be very surprised if there's any difference. Both of them are really good response and very comfortable to use, but I have to give hands up to the, um, the brand new one because it's actually angled um, 12 degrees, so it's more comfortable and also the scissor um, so let me just zoom in again to the actual keyboard it's actually scissor structure so in, in other words the way how it feels when you type it is much better than the previous one I have to say so those are the main difference so yeah on on the long run you're gonna see the huge difference on the feel of actually typing it uh, but when it comes to the response level both of them are Bluetooth 5.1, so very, very, very good response, hardly any delay whatsoever. So for the final thoughts, I guess the brand new one, there's major boost on the design. I love the weight actually, it feels really professional. Um, there seems to be a lot more consideration has, that has been applied to this model. Um, regards to the lighting, um, I guess there's a sense on it, maybe because of the LED light, if it's actually brighter, it consumes more battery. So in the long run, because they're both uh, 1600 milliamp per hour, this will be in long run, more longer use um, and etc. So a lot of thoughts, a lot of upgrade, major boost indeed. And this one actually costs probably two or three pounds more than the previous model um, and definitely recommend it. I will definitely go for this because uh, seen that have clearly studied their predecessor model and then they applied it into the new brand new model which is a great enhancement in various almost all of its function from the previous one so um, I hope this video clarified how good this upgraded version is but if you have any queries please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye